For China, the internationalization of bond market has two implications. First, the internationalization of China's domestic bond market, um, that depends on the level of participation of foreign issuers and investors. Secondly, the internationalization uh, upon the size and liquidity of China's multi-currency offshore bond market uh, issuances. And uh, um, for China's domest domestic uh, green bond market, uh, the, the, the main challenges uh, at the present uh, would be the lack of uniform standards, uh, the need to further standardize the certificate system, and the need to strengthen uh, the transparency of information disclosure. Um, while as uh, far as the um, overseas market is, is concerned, uh, green bond issuer uh, by Chinese issuers are mostly on international standards. So the key uh, thresholds uh, of being international in the overseas market is actually not uh, the standards of green bond uh, themselves, but the underlying assets, uh, the long-term credit quality, and of course the yield level that uh, the Chinese issuers uh, need to establish. From here we see opportunities rather than barriers. Uh, for example, being two of the leading facilities of uh, renminbi's internationalizations, Dimson bond and Panda bond issuances are both uh, noticeable. Um, Dimson bond is the platform and bridge for Chinese issuers to get overseas funding while promoting the internationalization of the currency, while Panda bond aims to attract overseas issuers to get RMB funding in China's domestic bond market. Uh, and like I mentioned in the panel, the CNH denominated Dimson bond market offers considerable uh, op uh, opportunity of arbitraging. Uh, the cross-currency swap offers uh, the uh, issuer's very obvious pricing uh, advantage uh, if you uh, swap the US dollar levels to CMY, uh, and that reaches uh, 50 to 90 uh, basis points in the first half of the year. We saw SSA uh, volumes picking up uh, since Feb 2022 to tap the CNH market with more issuers contemplating uh, the onshore CMY market for larger size and deeper uh, investor pool. Uh, we at CICC believe that RMB market is a, a strategic funding resource for high grade international issuers to make regular presence and we are honored to serve our clients uh, to the base market as we route in. Having said that, um, global currencies like US dollar, euro and pound sterling, etc., will continue to be uh, the major currencies for Chinese issuers and investors to diversify their portfolios. Yes, we do see increasing supply and demand in the ESG space, including um, increased prevalence of sustainability-linked structures moving away from labelled bonds entirely towards holistic ESG analysis of issuers, etc. Uh, these are very positive trends to us. However, we've also seen uh, uh, risks and misconduct of greenwash in some of the cases. To improve the market efficiency, um, we believe both the market and uh, the regulators uh, need to uh, uh, come together and work closer uh, to make sure that the innovation uh, on new funding uh, tools and new opportunities are for the real benefit of all mankind instead of inflating the margin uh, contained in different financial facilities. Uh, the synergy between the financial markets and governments uh, will be the key to achieve that. Uh, very naturally, the global SSA sector is at the best position to take this initiative.